The Jets close their season this Sunday afternoon in Foxborough against the New England Patriots. Let's preview the game right now. And well, 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 welcome back to New York Sports Wicker Media. I'm Watch2K99. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to watch these videos. So, we're going to preview this Jets Patriots game. It is one of only three games being played on week 18 that has zero impact on the playoff outcomes, <laughs> which is absolutely amazing. But uh, the Jets have won six games this year. They're going to finish third in the division. New England is currently 4-12. and They are confirmed to finish last place in the AFC East. First time that has happened since 1992. You know, that was so long ago that the AFC East was still five teams back then. The Colts were still in the division, you know. But uh, the Patriots could finish as high as second in the draft standings. They are currently projected to be third behind the Bears and the uh, Redskins. Yeah, the, the Bears pick, of course, coming from Carolina. But let's preview this game. We're going to start when the Jets have the football against the Patriots defense. So the Patriots D is ninth in DVOA. They've allowed 304.6 yards per game. That's sixth. Only 87 rushing yards per game allowed. That's second best only to the Bears. And they're allowing 21.8 points per game. That's only 17th in the league. Now, a couple of players. Christian Barmore, eight and a half sacks on the defensive line. 11 tackles for loss. One player who's getting a lot more playing time now is Keon White, the second-round pick from Georgia Tech. Uh, he played 42 of 69 snaps in the last game. Patriots like to move him uh, kind of like up and down the off of the defensive line. So watch out for Keon White. Uh, Anthony Jennings, very, very good run stopper on the outside edge. His run stop win rate ranked third among all defensive ends, only behind Jonathan Grenard from Houston and Max Crosby from the Raiders. Okay, so if the Jets try to run outside, they want to run away from Anthony Jennings. And linebacker, you've got Juwan Bentley and uh, Jelani Tavai, both with 104 tackles. At safety, you have Kyle Duggar, 103 tackles, seven passes defensed, and uh, two interceptions. So Duggar is an excellent safety. Uh, the Jets, here's what I think with the Jets. They may have to throw the ball a little bit because running up the middle is probably not going to work very well. So with Brees Hall, this is the kind of game you want to get him in space, use him as a receiver out of the backfield. Same thing with Garrett Wilson. You, you know, you want to throw passes where Garrett has a little bit of space and what, uh, what may be on a very slick field, use that quickness, use that great footwork to get down the field. And speaking of Garrett, he is at 93 catches for the season. So hopefully he can get seven catches to hit that 100 uh, catch mark milestone. That would be very, very good to see. All right, let's do what we owe always do. You know what we do. We're going to flip the script when the Patriots have the ball against the Jets defense. Well, the New England offense is 29th in DVOA, 286 yards per game, fifth worst in the league. Their 14.6 points per game is the worst in the league, actually worse than the Jets. They're converting just 31.7% percent of their third down opportunities. That is the third worst mark in the league ahead of only the Giants and the Jets. The first turno first half turnovers have really, really hurt them. They're second in the league with 19 interceptions. Now, Bailey Zappi will be a quarterback. Now, he has six touchdowns to seven interceptions. Last week, he turned the ball over three times in the first quarter against Buffalo. You know, I made sure to watch Buffalo New England last week. I wanted to see what those teams had, and the Patriots just kept shooting themselves in the foot, man. And, uh, yeah, Zappi, he, he could complete some passes. He could throw the ball downfield a little bit, but he's not the most mentally sound quarterback that I've ever seen. No Ramondre Stevenson at running back. He's on IR. So it'll be Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, he has 171 carries for 588 yards, three touchdowns. His longest carry of the season, just 17 yards. Now at receiver, you've got Demario Douglas, the leading receiver, the rookie from Liberty, 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 Liberty. 47 catches for 548 yards, but yet to score his first touchdown as a New England Patriot. Then you've got Devontae Parker. He's got six plays of 20 or more yards this year. No touchdowns for him as well. Now Zappi, he likes to target Parker. 
Okay, but Parker, who gets hurt a lot, had to leave the last game against Buffalo in the second quarter with a rib injury. We'll see if he'll, he could play. Hunter Henry's been missing some time with a knee issue at tight end. He's got a team-high six touchdowns. And don't forget Farrell Brown, who absolutely burned the Jets in the last game with that 58-yard touchdown. He's only got 12 targets all year, but he's got 12 catches. Okay, but the offensive line is where the Patriots are really struggling. Not that different than the Jets. Their pass block win rate is just 42%. That is the worst in the NFL. They have a lower pass block win rate than even the Jets. Okay, so Trent Brown on the offensive line did not play left tackle last week, and that, that line surrendered three sacks to Buffalo. He has not practiced this week with an illness, so the uh, presence of Trent Brown will go a long way to seeing how that offensive line performs against the Jets' defensive line. Okay, a couple of other notes. Rookie kicker Chad Ryland. Somehow a fourth-round pick was used on this guy. He is not making any Patriots fan forget Adam Vinatieri or Steven Guskowski. He has made 15 of 24 field goals, and he's only 7 of 14 from 40 and up. And in a game that uh, it may be snowing during the game, the kicking game uh, could play a big outcome, and Greg Zerline has been one of the most reliable kickers in the NFL this year. Now, Jalen Rager who is a real disappointment as a Philadelphia draft pick, he, he showed some bursts last week against Buffalo. He returned the opening kickoff 98 yards for a touchdown. So we'll see how the Jets handle him. Uh, penalties. This is big. The, gen the Jets, as we now know, are the most penalized team in all of the NFL. They're leading the league in something. 123 penalties. The Patriots with just 85. And the other thing is turnovers. You know, when you think of a Bill Belichick coach team, you expect them to be smart. You expect them to be fundamentally sound. You don't expect them to beat themselves but the Patriots are minus 10 in turnover differential this year you know the only two teams worse are the Chiefs and Washington who would have thunk that yeah unbelievable but that is the truth of the matter so that is the preview for the game now a couple of notes for the Virginia Jets fans Sunday one o'clock AJ Gators will be doing a premium raffle our last one of the year so bring that cash we'll be doing halftime trivia the topic is going to be Jets potpourri I'll be conducting that and the winner will receive a $25 gift card to the New York Jets online team store all right, so who knows what I'll ask about. It might be about the draft. It might be about this season. It might it might be about coaching. You never know. But it will be Jets related. And we will also have a raffle for the uh, beautiful uh, Jets logo plaque that uh, Tommy Bricado, uh has uh, made the video about. So we'll be doing the draw for that. Thank you to everybody who uh, contributed to that raffle. All right, well, thanks, everybody, for watching. We may be doing, by the way, uh, Virginia Jets fans. We may be doing a watch party uh, somewhere during Wild Card Weekend. More details on that to come. But I want to thank everybody for watching this video, and I'll see you right back here with more content from you nowhere. The Wicker Chair.